I'm just going to give this a real quick go. Um, I have the ESC and BEC pulled out of here. Um, I was actually mocking it up for a servo winch, uh, but for right now, I'm going to replace it, um, replace the ESC. Um, I have been running an old AE2 for almost two years, um, but on RCC, I was able to get me a waterproof BRXL, and I tracked me down a nice little Holmes motor here. There's the old BEC that was in it, uh, so that's going to go in there real quick. I've got the iron warming up right now. Mind my uh, cluttered little workspace here. Um, iron's warming up. But I just wanted to show off really quick. Um, I've been using this AE2 for pretty much, uh, I think it's going on two years now. April would have been two years. Um, you can see I got it stripped down. I've got the, the BEC pulled off of it. But if I can get in here, you can see it's a little dirty. Well, I had actually used um, Corrosion X to add some water resistance to this ESC. And it's held up fantastic. Uh, so I pulled off the case just to take a look at it. And you can see it's a little dirty, a little gritty in there. But naturally when you use an oil to seal stuff up and you have an open case, that's what's going to happen. So I'm probably going to end up getting some electronics um, spray, cleaning spray, and get that cleaned all out of there. And then just uh, soak it again. Or if I can get it clean enough, I might just go ahead and corrosion it, or uh, use a conformal coating and get it all cleaned off and, and paint it with some cor uh, conformal coating. So there's that. I was just uh, wanting to show that off. Here's the case. You can see, yeah, it's dirty, but man, that thing has been... In water, out of water, mud, snow. I'm not going to say I've submerged it, but it's been pretty deep in a few creeks. Um, I'm really happy with how that worked out. So if you're ever looking at that method, you know, don't be afraid. I believe I dipped it two or three times and let it dry out uh, in between, drip, drip, dry in between dips. Um, so that actually worked out pretty good. And if you look at the BEC, it's actually just capped off with some uh, black silicone, excuse me, the liquid tape is actually what's sealing that up. And then usually what I'll do is I'll just take the uh, silicone grease, the dielectric grease, and put a little bit in the plugs and plug everything back in, and here we go, off again. So that's what's gonna be going back in here. Uh, very happy with um, the performance of the Holmes products I've been using. I've got a few more coming up in the next truck um, including, I'm hoping to get the new, the spools here soon too for the axles, um, to go along with the electronics I have, I believe, have a, a BLE and a Trailmaster, um, 13.5 turn, and I also have the one piece, um, outdrive unit for the transmission, so I've ran that already once or twice and it's really, really nice, so that's where I'm at right now, just wanted to show that off. Well, that'll be going back in this little bugger. And I'll catch you all later.